I remember 15 years ago when I was yeah. at, uh, or I guess 10 years ago when I was at Oppenheimer, um, I was covering mm -hmm. autos there as well. And we'd have these auto manufacturers, like you talked to the CEO of Ford or GM or Tesla, mm -hmm. you know, I, I didn't get the chance to talk to Elon, but others on the, mm -hmm. on the C-suite team. And you'd ask them about like, hey, okay, 5G is coming. Mm -hmm. And how does that interplay with like autonomous driving? Mm -hmm. And like, wh where is this industry going? And the comment was always, and you'd see sell side brokers mm -hmm. like Bank of America and JP Morgan and Goldman put notes out saying like, hey, your, your car is a really expensive brick, basically. You use it for mm -hmm. like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a day, mm -hmm. and then it sits for 23 hours unused. Mm -hmm. And generally you, the biggest liability that somebody will right, own right, in their life. Right. And so if you can take that and, and send it off, send it off time. to mm -hmm. turn it into an asset yeah, to generate money for you, that is a game changer. Mm -hmm. And so with, right. with CyberCab, if you can actually have somebody mm -hmm. be like, hey, I'm going to purchase this thing for 20 to $50,000, mm -hmm. whatever it is, the incremental mm -hmm. payback on that, mm -hmm. it, I could see people no different than a real estate property where you're like, Making okay, is out of that. I, I'm just mm -hmm. going to turn this into a, a, a cash flow mm -hmm. that nobody has to operate. You don't mm -hmm. need an employee in there. It mm -hmm. just does it on, on its mm -hmm. own. That seems like a game changer that Waymo is not able to mm -hmm. compete with because they don't have the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So